cupcakes, you'll need a rolling pin, some lemon extract, black food dye, some disco dust, this is an optional extra, some white fondant, black fondant, pink fondant, skin colored fondant, a medium sized heart cutter, a smaller heart cutter, a round cutter, a small flower plunger or cutter, something to emboss your dress if you would like, this is optional, a paring knife, a paintbrush, a pointed fondant tool, a ruler, and some cornstarch. Let's get started. Okay, so we're going to get started making the tuxedo. First off, we're going to make the white blouse. And so just take some of that fondant and roll it out. Then what we're going to do is we're just going to take that cutter, just cut out a little circle. We're going to put that to the side. Okay, so I just cut another black circle the same size as the white one. And we're going to use some of that leftover scraps for our bow tie. So what we want to do is we just want to cut a really small rectangle. And then what we're going to do is we're going to cut that into fours so that we can have the right proportions for our bow tie. So just cut it at a diagonal, then cut it from the other opposite angle. And then you can see have those tiny little triangle pieces. And then when you put them together, they look like a little bow tie. And then just take some of the extra fondant from the other mini triangles, and you put that right in the center. So we're gonna put those off to the side. And what we're gonna do now is we need to figure out how far apart we want the space to be that we're cutting. And I decided that about three quarters of an inch is about the right size, so I'm just going to mark that. And then what you're going to do is you're going to take that ruler again, and you're just going to find the one inch mark, and you're going to mark that in the center. You want to go there. You want it to be even on both sides. There we have a nice little opening for the bottom of our white part. So you can see that when you overlay it, you can see that white section looks really nice. So now we're just going to take some water and just paint it over the black part. And then we're just going to take it and gently overlay it. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're just going to take a little bit of water and we're going to place it right where we're going to put that little bow tie so that it adheres really well. So just stick one side of the triangle down and the other side. And then just put a little more water on top of that so we can put the middle on there. All right, very nice. And now we just need to make sure we have some collars on the side for our sweet little tuxedo. So what we want to do first off is we want to measure how long the side is so that we make sure that our collar is long enough. And this hits just about one inch like we measured. And we're just going to make those about as thick as we want. And then measure to make sure, yep, it's definitely at least two inches. The reason we're doing this two inches long is because we need to do both sides of the collar and so we're just making it twice as long and then we're going to cut it in half. And my husband informed me these are actually called lapels so excuse my bad vocabulary when it comes to men's clothing. So what we're going to do now is we're just going to um, figure out the spot where we want the lapel to kind of widen and so we're going to want to do it at an angle and I'm going to go about right there and then we can just do the same thing on the other side bring it around put it on top of the other one kind of match it up okay so then you have the two different sides like that and then what you're going to do is you want to indent it a little right here and then have it go back at another angle. So what I do is I like to start off first making this angle 
and so you're just going to etch out a little triangle right here. that little guy out and you're going to take some more of that water just going to prep the surface of that black fondant for the lapels and just going to set that right on top and now what we're going to do is we're just going to add some little dots for the buttons I'm just going to do a couple of pieces of black fondant. So secure this wherever you want. I'm going to go right below it. You can do two or three buttons, whatever suits your taste. We have our completed tuxedo topper and I just think that is the cat's meow right there. I just love it. It comes together beautifully. Stay tuned for part two to learn how to make the formal dress cupcake topper. Thanks for tuning in.